welcome back to some more Enshrouded. Right, okay, so yet again, I have not posted in a couple of days, not been able to record because, well, sadly, my daughter is now also sick. Not too sick, not nearly as sick as I was, which is fantastic, but yeah, a little bit of a runny nose and uh, some coughing and a slight fever. Now, I've been able to play maybe like 10 minutes. So, what I have done, I've done a little bit more modeling work on my whatever this is. So, I've given him some weird teeth, just because it was recommended that I use some uh, luminescent, well, luminous blocks. So, I gave some for the mouth and a little bit for the nose. I also did model the nose a little bit more proper, so now it got two nostrils. Now I've also covered the surrounding shape of the head with like the VUCA roof terrain block so it's um I mean it's looking a little bit more weathered I would say. I'm thinking that maybe I should replace like the greenery with the VUCA blocks because I think it fits a little bit and also I'm thinking that I should remove the blocks and just use, well, terrain blocks, like the luminous growth, rather, to get some light into it. And perhaps for, like, proper teeth, maybe I should use just stone? I'm not sure. I could give it a little bit of a go. Let's see, do I have stone? I should have stone, right? Uh, let's see, I don't have stone. Well, I got limestone. If I do, like, so, and then another one. Ah, uh, potentially, potentially maybe, uh, but uh, for now let's uh, remove that, another one, no, it's just two, hmm, right, well, it is starting to look like something, and also for the hand, I mean, it's not gonna be hand anymore, it's basically just gonna be, well, a plateau of sorts, now, the fertilized soil goes really well together with the tar, so that's, that's definitely something, now, I'm also thinking that if I wanted to, like, build something more extravagant, I mean, I've had the idea to just open up the mouth a little bit more, basically make this hand go into the mouth and then have, like, an entire crypt or graveyard or something inside of this mountain, because that is very possible and it's also very fun to build stuff underground. Now, I could also just make a passage right here into, like, either a hollow holes type tomb or maybe, you know, an underground graveyard-ish. Or maybe just a spooky room. But yeah, I mean, the idea now is just basically to add some more finer details until I find something that I enjoy, because I do like the look of it now, whatever this is supposed to be, but it needs something, definitely something more, a little bit more texture, I think. Uh, but we will see, we will see, won't we? Uh, well, right now my daughter is sleeping, she's ju just had a bath, so yeah, she's tired and napping, my wife is also in the bath. Uh, just relaxing a little bit. Thankfully, my wife hasn't gotten sick yet, but again, she is she is pregnant, so she has to deal with uh, preg pregnancy stuff, right? But I have a little bit of time, so I'm thinking that I'm just gonna jump into my own world, or at least my main world, right? Because over here, I am making. Uh, fossilized bone dust, but there's still uh, still two hours until everything is ready. Oh, that's that takes a long time, a very long time. Uh, oh yeah, dude. It's um, hmm. hopefully when we get the townsfolk, we will be able to make stuff faster, even faster, because it's uh, it's taking a while, taking a good while. Oh, I just love the look of Glen over here. It's such a fun experiment with like the modeling or terrain manipulation that you can do in this game oh and i also have a lot to do in this space but again just kind of waiting for the mountain update which could come out soon ish hopefully not too soon like maybe the end of november maybe even december it would be fun but again i'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna make them rush things because that uh, rushing stuff always ends badly. Yeah, and also thinking that I should cover this entire area just in uh, ground floors 
to make it at least square because yeah, weird stuff is uh, happening to my base. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, I could make an entire room with basically all of the hollow holes type lighting and decorations. That is potentially something. Oh, yeah, I think I died. That's why I don't have the rest of the bonus. But yeah, just lie in the bed and wiggly zhoosh. I should also make an updated video about the comfort. Uh, but again, uh, whatever I had, well, my comfort video is still viable. It is. Somewhat, I think. Yeah, I mean, they fixed one bug, I think, and also they've, you know, added more stuff, but uh, we will we will see. Right, okay, so one thing that I think that I'm gonna need, I mean, definitely more uh, fertilized farm soil. That could come in real handy, but let's see. If I go over to mm, maybe Harvest Homes Homestead, just thinking because I could also use a little bit of farm soil. Just gonna have a look-see. Yeah, because there's a lot of farm soil over here that you could just mine. I mean, it doesn't take a lot to make. I mean, we basically have infinite bones. Uh, but yes, uh, it's a little bit too brown, I think, maybe. Actually, how much do I get? Ah, I got I get quite a bit from just mining like a zoo. Hmm, not bad. Now, I think that I get less flower soil, which is also located here at Woodguard. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I, I get something, but not uh, too much. A little bit of mining. -ish. Now, I also did see the short video that King Game posted. Apparently, there's a new armor set. And yeah, I did read about the flamethrower scavenger. That looks interesting. It looks like an extreme advanced flamethrower. So, uh, we will see. And I do wonder, is that gonna be something that we will be able to get? Like, mana-based guns, that would be something. Or perhaps it's ranger? Mm, who knows? Who knows, who knows? Okay, that's, well, 230 flower soil. I don't think we need too much of that. Right. And I'm also mainly using sand. Mm, okay, let's travel back to, let's see, over yonder because I could potentially need some more VUCA roof tile tops and uh, some more foliage. Where's a good place to get a foliage? I mean, I can just mine this in order to get bark, but bark is not, it's not what we needed right now. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, I know that there's a ton of it over here, was it? Maybe? Uh, well, at least here we have a big roof. Yeah, uh, I mean, mining this stuff, uh, I get, I don't get a lot from mining this. I mean, I get something, so I'm not going to complain too much. But yeah, I could also spec into, uh, against stone objects, including resource veins. Hmm, when mining resources, you know, 10% chance, chance, lose durability. Well, I don't have durability. I'm not actually sure if I could increase, like, the gain from stuff like this, since this isn't stone. Like, it's just, uh, you know, terrain blocks, terrain material. Hmm, let's see, 30? Uh, I'm not sure if I need more than that. I don't want to encase the entire face in, in this thing, but uh, a little bit should do the trick. Let's see, and the foliage. I could easily just look at the map and figure out where it is, but hmm. Where is a good place? I mean, this is foliage, isn't it? Yeah. Is it even cold foliage? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, so it's a little bit here and there. And this is easier to gather than the roof tiles. Hmm. Now, I do wonder, I do need another palette, well, basically another color in order to make the face look a little bit more lively. I mean, right now I'm making it look more dead, but uh, maybe to add some greenery could be something. Now, if I use the flower soil, okay, I'm just thinking, thinking, just thinking. Nope, oh, hang on, can I? Hey, hey, what, three shots? Uh, you what, mate? Uh, righty, ho, and a boing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been so long since I've been playing, oh, or at least exploring. And a boing, and a boing, and a boing, and a hide. <laughs> uh, hopefully they add more jumping puzzles. Yeah, that's a pair of knives, aren't they? I think so. Can I get like this in legendary? 
or maybe it's always legendary. Who knows? Oh, yeah, yeah. loads of gators. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Why is there a way over here? Yeah, I haven't been too thorough exploring like this area. Hang on, what was that? Oh, there's the leaf <laughs> flying around. I mean, oh, yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of stuff that could be hidden quite easily. And a boing, and a boing, and a boing. Like, oh, holy, holy crap. Yeah, I do remember that there was some lore over here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, those were the scavengers. Uh, okay, yeah, here we have the obelisk. Uh, a cave over yonder. Okay. Ooh, is there anything interesting over here? No. Okay. Hmm. What about this way? And there's a road over here. Eh, might as well follow the road. Follow the only road. There's only one road in Canada. Follow the road, the only road. Okay, and this is. Ah, oh, yeah, this is. Oh, oh, you biscuits. Okay, I gotta run from those. Oh, uh, yeah, this leads to the sunken city. Hmm. Oh, I do wonder. There's potentially some terrain blocks that I haven't discovered yet. But what could those be? Ah, uh, more fairies. The other fairies have stopped following me, I hope. Let's see. Yeah, there's also, like, the honeycomb uh, blocks. Mm, but they're very beige. Beige. Oh, okay, okay, calm down. Is this foliage, maybe? Okay, I land up approximately over a mirror. Hmm. Right, well, let's head uh, back to the base. Right, because here we have... I mean, we also have all of the... Hmm. Yeah? Like those things. I mean, I have taken a look at the roadblocks. Uh, like here. Hmm. Maybe, 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 just maybe. Yeah, oh, there's a lot of potential that I could do to improve the base. Like right now, I don't necessarily want all the roads to be, well, just basic floor tiles. Uh, but yeah, if I encase, uh, I mean, I will lose a little bit, uh, not necessarily too much of a view, but I will lose my balcony view. But again, I don't, oh, but yeah, this is pretty, very pretty. And also, if I encase everything, I've lost whatever I made down here. But again, it's just it's just for show. Right, okay, well, let's uh, have a little bit of a look-see over here. Past the forest. Yeah, I need to cut all of this down eventually. Right, because... Hmm, I mean, mycelium, potentially. But all of these are blocks. Yeah, I can make dirt road, rocky road, and smooth stone blocks, eh? Hmm... Now, as for decorations, ah, uh, I mean, let's see, what about you, good sir? Do you have anything sinister to offer? Uh, I mean, these things would look spooky, and they're, I mean, they require a lot of, like, materials, but a hundred resin, uh, maybe that's why I made a forest, uh, because these things are huge, but they would light up the surrounding area. Other than that, uh, not necessarily. Let's check out with the carpenter. Because you, good sir. Yeah, I did want to implement some sort of uh, trampoline system, but I don't think I need to. Let's see. Hmm, maybe. I mean, yeah, I, I could surround the entire area in basically coffins and all that kind of stuff. Let's see anything more sinister like fences hmm? potentially statues now let's see can i just make wasn't there more that i could just make is that over here no oh you can you make anything hang on more pictures no not more pictures it's just that you are the one selling the pictures now oh yeah i remember Ah, uh, let's see, banners? No, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I could potentially surround the area because I have quite a big building area with like some tombstones. Make it look a little bit more gravestony. And I could potentially also add some lighting. Now, this thingy, like the hollow holes chandelier, it also has... Oh, okay, don't die. Uh, it has the chain and you don't have to have the entire thing visible. Oh. Okay, don't die over there. So I could potentially use this thing and then get, like, chains around. Not sure if you can make them at an angle. Like, there's a possibility that you can. We probably just need terrain blocks or regular blocks. Place them at an angle. Perhaps, again, I'm not sure. Haven't tried too much. Hmm. Right. Oh, and yeah, I did see on one of the submissions 
that you could use one of these trophies for the eyes. I mean, they're a little bit too small, I think, like from a distance. It would be okay if I wanted to make a smaller statue, but yeah, the eyes of whatever the jack-o'-lantern thing is, it's um, very much bigger than these things. Now, I do wonder if I could stack them up somehow, like squish them together. Uh, maybe. Also, my basement is starting to get full. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will expand the base at some point, but yeah, I think I should wait for the mountain update, just so that we don't get, you know, destroyed. And there's also a potential that there would be a fun place to build in the mountains. Because I do like myself some, like, log cabin type of stuff, maybe. And, I mean, right now I don't need too big of a plot for farming, so, yeah. Maybe, just maybe. Well, I think that I'm gonna clean the house a little bit. Just need to do some minor chores. I mean, one thing that I can say about the situation right now is that uh, my daughter is very happy, even though she's a little bit sick, but she has also started enjoying watching cartoons with me. So yeah, it's been very helpful in that case that we can just uh, sit here and watch some Bluey together. And it's uh, adorable, you just you know, snuggle up together and just watch Bluey basically all day. Um, because, well, she's not in shape to run around like she usually does. Uh, but yeah, it's been, it, it's been surprisingly, well, I, I wouldn't say easy, it's never easy, but uh, it's been relaxing that she isn't, you know, screaming or in pain or anything. And now we do have paracetamol and ibuprofen. Well, we use paracetamol for the baby, but yeah, uh, everything is going dandy. Now, hopefully she is healthy right now. I don't think she's sick anymore, just she's coughing a little bit, so you know, some mucus and such. Um, but that will be fine. And hopefully my wife doesn't get sick as well. <laughs> oh, now that would be something. Now, it's also been some time since I've logged out of this place, and oh boy, are we getting close to a thousand subscribers. So yeah, just subliminal messaging. So yeah, I'm gonna go and do some chores, and as always, until next time.